Bonjour, j'espère que vous allez très bien. We are going to see just one word in this lesson, the word longtemps. Pay attention to the pronunciation as we don't say this later G and the P and S. So we just say longtemps. Longtemps with your French tutor online Pascal and FrenchSpanishOnline.com. So let's start with the meaning. It's not very difficult, actually. Longtemps means a long time, for a long time, or long and for long. Easy to understand, because longtemps is the combination of two words, long and temps, so long and time. Absolutely no problem. Just one thing. In French, it is one word, an adverb, so a word that can change the meaning of a verb. For this reason, there is no article like a long time in English. It's just longtemps in French. So let's see now some expressions and to know how to use it. How to translate? It has been a long time since I have finished. So here we have the expression a long time in French. Ça fait longtemps que j'ai terminé. The translation of since here is que. So, ça fait longtemps, to translate a long time, que j'ai terminé. It has been a long time since I have finished. If it's going to last a long time, if it's going to last a long time, ça va durer longtemps, ça va durer longtemps. Again, to translate a long time, just one word, longtemps in French. A long time ago, that is an expression, il y a longtemps. Or when you speak, il y a longtemps, il y a longtemps. I have been waiting for a long time. I have been waiting for a long time. J'attends depuis longtemps. Here the translation of for is depuis, but a long time is longtemps. J'attends depuis longtemps. He will live for a long time. Il vivra longtemps. Here it is the expression for a long time. That is, is translated in longtemps. Il vivra longtemps. Oh là là! Pas de problème, il vivra longtemps. It won't take long. Now let's see some expressions using just the word long. It won't take long. Ça ne prendra pas longtemps. Non, non, ça prendra pas longtemps. Tu peux attendre, pas de problème. Is there long to wait? Il y a longtemps à attendre. Ah oui, parce que moi je suis pressé. Hein? Il y a longtemps à attendre. Ah, d'accord. Some uh, comparative forms now, longer than, in French is plus longtemps que, and as you can see, we don't pronounce the letter S here, plus longtemps que, longer than, and as long as is aussi longtemps que, aussi longtemps que. Okay, to finish one expression, uh, you certainly can use with friends, for example, je comprends vite, mais il faut m'expliquer longtemps. You could translate that in English this way. I understand fast as long as you explain slowly. Uh, sometimes it's a things you can say to, fr to a friend. Yeah, you say it's a bit a problem to understand uh, quickly. So you can say, tu comprends vite, hein? mais il faut t'expliquer longtemps. Hein? You understand fast yeah, as long as I explain you slowly. <laughs> okay? Je comprends vite, mais il faut m'expliquer longtemps. OK? So, it is what you need to know about longtemps in French. C'est fini. Alors, au revoir, bon français, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Allez, au revoir!